okay and now we will see example on hash set example on hash set so this will be the collection api video video 29 video 29 so the name of the class is m5 and um, here need to import hash set class before uh, doing any operations on this uh, hash set class so where it is located so import java dot util dot hash set this is where this hash set class is located in java.util package now i'm creating an object for hash set set is equal to new hash set creating an object for hash set class so now after creating an object for hash set class i'll be adding the elements to this set i'll be adding the elements to the set container now within the sop i'll be adding and printing the result after it is performing the operation it will be showing the result if i keep the operation within the system dot out dot print ln so here using the set reference as set reference object reference i'm adding the elements so within the double quote adding supplying abc it dot add within the double quotes i'm supplying abc so it is of type string so this it is of type string so internally this one is tested to object type okay this string class will be upcasted to object type so then it will be added to the set now like this i'll be adding some more elements so to print the same line in the next line you can do the shortcut how we can use the shortcut it is just by pressing ctrl j go to end of the statement like this and just press ctrl j like this i'll be adding some elements now for the third sop i'll be adding xyz and once again try to add xyz and the next i'm trying to add one two three and one two three otherwise you can just keep it alphabets itself triple a triple b save this file in my case i'll be saving this file inside d drive inside d drive i have one drive folder and inside this one drive um 
I have this folder called which is programming inside this edit plus development okay okay let me modify the name of this folder right click rename then give the name of the folder I wish to give that is collection API go inside this folder app 3 go into app 3 and the name of the file it is um m1 m2 m3 is available m4 is not available okay small modification here so save the file name as m4 click on this save button and here come back to our file and uh, just say m4 just press ctrl s so now what you'll do is um, if I compile this directly it will be creating the dot class file in the same directory itself so I want dot class files to be located in the different file other than the same folder so for that what I'm doing is I'll just um, go to the folder where I have saved those files which I which is programming and then inside collection API app 3 so all these files I'll be keeping inside the SRC so just click on the blank space here and uh, right click and uh, select new and create a new folder called src so here i'll be keeping all the source files go inside this folder and keep this uh, all the files copy all the files cut and paste all the files inside this src and one more folder i'll be creating that is uh, classes folder this is the folder so now take this path copy this path so click on command prompt and here type cd space control v if you are using windows 7 you can just right click and paste in um, in, in my case i can just go for control v it will be pasting the path now just enter we are not still in the drive as you can see we are still in the drive c users which i so just to type the name of the first letter of the drive name that is in my case f and just colon just enter now we are in the directory so now trigger the command java c space double dot slash so before that iphone d classes Uh, the name of the class is m4 dot java so just enter so it is um, it's not finding the file so what we need to do is uh, just to trigger uh, this command inside the src just go to the src folder cd yes or c okay within the app 3 folder just go to just enter cd and space src we are in the src folder now we can just click on the right arrow sorry up arrow will be getting the previously entered commands so in my case this is the command compile a file 
and um, in which directory we have to put that file if in case if it is successful that is go back two folders back and uh, you can file the classes folder there you should put this info.class file it is the command we are giving in the command prompt just click on enter so now the file is um, found and it is compiled successfully and kept in the classes folder so that you can see by going to that folder app 3 and inside classes you can find m4.class so now how to run this how to run this in the sense you can just type java hyphen cp classes m4 this is the command you need to give within the src itself you need to trigger this command java space hyphen cp in the sense class path space double dot slash classes space the name of the class it is m4 so we are getting true false true false true true so what it is going on true okay the first time whenever it is trying to insert this element okay so here it is the unique element that is why it is getting added at the abc into the set container then in the second sop we will be getting the false as the output why because we have already added this abc to the set container once again we are trying to add the abc so that is why we are getting the false how we can how we will be finding out that is by using the hash code method that is overrided inside the string class so inside the string class hash code and equals method got overrided so that is why using those methods it will be finding out the duplicates so it won't be allowed to insert the duplicate to the set container so that is why in the first case we'll be getting true and in the second case we'll be getting false and in the third case we'll be getting true because it is of a unique element xyz is the unique element then in the fourth swap you will be getting false because it will be checking for the content whether it is already is inserted or not yes we have already one element with the content as xyz so it won't be allowed to add to the set container so that is why we are getting the false as the output then in last two SOPs we'll be getting true and true as the output why because it is of unique elements these elements are not yet in not yet inserted to the set container so what it is returning add method it is if it is successful it returns true if it is not not successful it returns false that is simple add method is returning some boolean result add method is returning boolean result if it is success it will be resulting it will be returning true as the output that is why we are getting true and um, if the operation is unsuccessful in this case we are trying to add uh, the duplicate element so that is why we are getting the false in the second SOP so it will be returning true or false if it is success it will be returning true if it is not success it will be returning false so basically in case of set 
you know it won't be it won't be allowing the duplicates okay it won't be allowing the duplicates and the second point it is the insertion order okay the order of insertion uh, it is not preserved order of insertion it is not preserved so let's print that um, set we can find out whether insertion order is preserved or not so here um, system dot out dot print ln so simply i'm trying to print the set itself so save this for every changes you made to the file you need to save those changes okay then again you should recompile it go to the command prompt to clear this screen you can just give the command as cls now just click on app arrow so we'll be finding out the previously entered commands so we can reuse them after modifying it so in my case i want to use this one without any modification because we are trying out the same program m4 itself now just click on enter so the a previous file will be previous dot class will file will be replaced um, by this uh, new compiled file will be having the new compiled file now run the newly compiled file by using this iphone cp man so still uh, i think we are not getting uh, what we expected so it is i think um, previous class only it is executing just go to the file and um, here save the file once again and go back to the command prompt the command once again okay now once again trigger the hyphen cp still we are not getting so let me modify it to something like this check it out save this and record this command so again i found cp so yes mm, the dot class file it is not replacing it seems So just go to app three go to SRC M four is available. Now go to classes. Go to classes m four dot class is there, delete this one. Now once again and so clear the screen to clear the screen just give cls now i have compiled it now to run this is the command yet still we are not getting the 
result what we are expected Java iPhone CP classes M4 we need to execute M4 dot class is there in this case so three SRC okay let's add that so we'll do one thing and just comment some of the we'll see save and picker one thing go to the folder and uh, here inside app3 we have something called this okay delete that go to src m4 right click click on edit plus okay now what to do is just come here on just type the statement um, i want to print a set save this the command prompt just close the command prompt go to the file explorer go to this src copy the path go to command prompt pd then paste enter type name of the drive f colon we are in the directory now now you can trigger the command java c space iphone d double dot slash classes m4 dot now you can trigger the command java iphone cp space double dot slash classes m4 so now you can see the result properly so as you can observe insertion order 8 is not preserving okay we are uh, inserting abc first okay then abc then xyz then xyz so here uh, first it is uh, showing uh, the you know um, like fifth elements it is showing fifth elements we try to insert that one it is uh, showing in the first place in the container so the insertion order it is not preserving in case of set insertion order it is not preserving and duplicates are not allowed as we can see here we are getting the false why because we try to insert the duplicate elements so how it is finding the duplicate elements in the sense so here it is a string class okay string class so it is uh, upcasted to object class then it is tried to uh, add the elements to the set container so in the string class you know both of these object class two methods uh, equals and um, uh, two methods got overrided that is hash code and equals method hash code and equals method both these two methods got overrided using that uh, methods it will be finding out the duplicates okay in that way we can find out the duplicates okay this is it for this um, collection api uh, video 
our tutorial part 29 and uh, class m4 will um, will cover uh, m5 in the next class in the next video part okay thank you